Welcome to another lecture guys. This is uh, another video. Uh, we're looking at another MRI of the knee. It's going to be a quick description. So if we uh, scroll down, we can uh, see this MRI of the knee again. Now as you come to the beginning of this MRI and the first pictures that you're seeing on the screen, uh, you immediately see this large amount of fluid around the knee okay so that's an effusion and that is usually an indication of some kind of trauma or some kind of injury so this um, is one of the patients who came to the emergency department after an injury to the knee while playing and as you can see the first thing that you note here is this anterior lateral edema of the lateral femoral condyle and you can see a lot of effusion in the knee joint okay so this is the femur bone as we know this is the tibia bone and this is your knee joint and you can see this whitish area here this is the bone impaction injury or bone bruise or bony edema that you first see then you come down to the knee you can see this meniscus here the cartilage and uh, acl coming into view and uh, then you you can see the medial side here um, you can see a little bit of uh, edema on the medial side as well and if you keep scrolling through uh, these images you come to the back of the knee now and then you can start seeing this posterior cruciate ligament the fibula can be seen here but no real major changes you can see slight impaction edema there as well so uh, that's uh, your t2 sagittal weighted images and then you're coming to the muscles at the back of the knee okay now uh, Keeping with the coronals first, we are going to look at uh, the uh, coronals of uh, T1. So this is more for the bone. Um, so you can see the femur and the tibia here and then the cartilage and then the inside of the knee. Okay. So as you scroll down, coming to the middle of the knee. Okay. And then you, as you go down to the back. Okay. Now, then we start with the sagittals or the side. Um, images of the knee again you can see a lot of effusion there okay this is all fluid in there this is all the effusion in there you can see a little bit of a bony edema on the back part of the tibia there um, now as you scroll down further you can see the patella coming into the view and you can see a lot of uh, edema in the patella as well and these are your ligaments the quadriceps tendon sorry the tendon the quadriceps tendon and the patella tendon there um, as you scroll down you can see a lot more edema on the femoral condyle on the anterior lateral aspect so we are entering the lateral compartment as you can see from the fibula there and you can see a lot of edema on the fibula and on the anterior lateral part of the femur okay um, the last one that we're going to see are your axial views okay so this is a cross-sectional view you can see the patella or the kneecap of the top with the cartilage there and this is the top of the fem femur bone or the femoral trochlea and as you scroll down you can see a lot of effusion there this all whitish stuff here is effusion okay now um in these kind of cases uh, this is the uh, important use of t2 uh, uh, views and uh, these are the axial views now if you scroll down um, the thing that I wanted to show you about this is so look at this that's your patella and there's a patellar cartilage um, that's your lateral side so you know the lateral femoral condyle is higher than the medial femoral condyle and so the patella is sitting a little bit lateral is tilted a little bit lateral as you can see um, but if you look here so there's a lot of edema there and you can see a little bit of cartilage is coming off the bone so it's kind of an impaction fracture of the medial condyle and this structure here is your mpfl and you can see it's ruptured from its patellar attachment if you go down further you can also see a tiny loose body lying in the fluid there and you scroll down further you can see a lot of uh, medial patellar femoral ligament fibers are ruptured so i'll go scroll and see again so you can see that the medial patellar femoral ligament is ruptured from the patella so this is a classic representation classic presentation of a patellar dislocation where you see anterior lateral femoral edema and impaction the medial patellar impaction and medial patellar femoral ligament rupture and uh, in this case there's a small loose body lying free maybe from uh, rupture from this uh, patella Hope you like this video. Keep coming back for more.